Okay, y'all, I'm about to get ready to assemble my pizza. I'm doing like a supreme pizza tonight. <laughs> so I'm going in with a little olive oil first. Basically, what this is going to do is help give me a little bit more crust as well as help my seasoning adhere to the crust. So I'm going to brush it with a little EVOO. As my Rachel Ray would say. <laughs> and I'm actually using um, Italian, is it Italian? No, garlic naan bread basically is what I'm using. I'm going in with a little Italian seasoning because you want every layer to have flavor, honey. Yes, we do. Then I'm going in, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going in with this marinara sauce. I've never used this before. I've used this brand, but I've never used just the plain. So, uh, we're going to hope for the best. <laughs> I don't think you can go wrong with this. So, I'm going in with my marinara. I need a little bit more. So basically just spreading this out. Honey, I'm so excited about this. I'm excited. Look at me making a mess. So spread the marinara out. Slide that to the side. Then I'm gonna go in with some Italian style cheese. I've made pizza before, um, but I've never made it with this naan or naan bread, whichever way is the proper way to pronounce it. I'm not sure. Try not to get cheese on my pan because y'all know how that can be. It's going to melt and be a little disastrous, if that's a word. So, putting the cheese on there. Then I'm gonna go in with my turkey sausage. Boom, bam, pow. Have y'all ever used this turkey sausage before? It's pretty darn good. I like it, I'm a fan. I am a fan. Okay, going with the turkey sausage. And then I think I'm gonna put my vegetables down. So what I have here is some red and orange bell peppers that I have left over from my vegetables that I roasted. I'm gonna use that as well as some mushroom. <clears throat> no food left behind around here. So I'm going in with the mushroom. And then I'm going to go in with my bell peppers and onion. Yes, I seasoned this, but honey, the more seasoning, the more flavor. That's how I look at it. Okay. Mm-hmm. It smells good already. So we got that on there. Then we're gonna go in. Let me wipe my hand on my towel over here. And then we're gonna go in with the pepperoni. The pepperoni. And of course, you can use whatever type of pepperoni that you like. Let me taste one, make sure it's good. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's good. And I'm going to go in, ooh, with the pepperoni. And then I'm going to chop all of this off with some mozzarella cheese. 
Baby, we loading it up, honey. Y'all know when you make your own pizza, you can do what you want to do. Because they be skimping us at the pizza places. So, because it's a do-it-yourself type of night. We don't want no spaces. Zero. Boom. What y'all think? I think that's good. Okay. Then we're going to go in with our mozzarella cheese. And we are done, honey. This is dinner tonight. No cheese left behind. And I'm going to top that off with a little more Italian seasoning. <laughs> Done. Okay, I'm going to bake this until everything melts down together and then i'll show y'all the finished result okay all right guys just coming back to show you the finished result of the pizza it smells delicious i know it's gonna taste delicious so this is dinner doing this morning different day different scenery I am at work mm -hmm. I'm waiting on my client for the day <clears throat> I have a consultation with my first client today so that's what I'm waiting on I came in and got everything set up going warming up um, Got the coffee going and put up my inventory that I needed to put up for today. And now I'm just waiting on my client. So, today is a beautiful weather day. The sun is shining. It's a little cool today, but <clears throat> otherwise, it's a good day. I sound a little nasally. I don't know, maybe it's the, the pollen in the air but I feel fine I think it's just because it's early and I hadn't talked that much this morning 
which I'm not a morning person. I don't know if I said that before, but you have to do what you have to do, right? So I wake up pretty early in order to pump myself up, <laughs> get myself ready for my day. Um, because I have to deal with people every day and I have to talk and um, interact with people. So I can't be all dry, right? Well, at least I don't want to be all dry, you know? I want to um, be able to share some light, share some joy with people. So I don't want people being dry with me. So, um, but yeah. I have a pretty steady day today. It's consistently busy, so I'll be busy all day today <clears throat> with my clients. I think I gotta do some natural. I gotta do a silk press. I have to do some natural, a natural style. I have to do look, some extensions. And what else I have to do? Something else I have to do. I've seen on my schedule, but I forgot. But yeah, another work week about to be off to a great start. So I was just popping in to speak. And um, I'm probably going to go fix me some tea while I wait on my customer. <clears throat> kind of get me going a little bit. So I'll see y'all later. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. I'm just getting in from um work. <laughs> and I got my package. I'm excited. I'm excited. Let's see. Do we got the name on there? Oh, we got the name on there. My Bath and Body Works package. I say I figure I'll go in and do a little unboxing with y'all. What my hair doing? Sticking up. Mm hmm Okay. I bought a couple of different ones. Well, basically all I bought were wildflowers. So let me tell y'all which ones I got. I got lemon cello. I have fresh sheets. I have eucalyptus eucalyptus rain. I have um, mahogany teak wood, and I have sun drenched linen. And I have laundry day. I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's it. Now my my favorite my favorite um ones are sun drenched linen and laundry day. These two right here. They smell so good. They smell like you just finish um, taking some uh, a laundry out the washer and the dryer and it smell like you didn't hung up your clothes. Your fresh clean linen. Put your fresh clean sheets on the bed. Definitely smell those. And then I like limoncello. I, um, this is one of my favorite scents too with the candles. And then mahogany teak wood. I like this, but it's super strong. Mr. Allen loved this. So I got that for him. But um, I have to say, y'all, I have my spells with um the Bath and Body Works candles. But it's just been pretty consistent that I don't like that waxy smell, that waxy burnt smell that they give. So I don't know. So I go back and forth with either getting different candles from other places, doing wax melts, or doing their candles. But here lately, I've been on the uh, wallflowers. So, and they're really strong, actually. They had a sale. I think they were like two seventy-five a piece, 
and they're normally like what $7.95 so I just loaded up on the scents that I like I got a ton of ton of the sun drenched, drenched lemon uh, I loaded up on the laundry day and then I got a couple of the limoncellos and then the other couple that I got so we racked up let me show y'all my box if you can see so according to what my memory mr. Allen has already taken some out of here because I actually bought some new wallflower plugs I bought this cute brown and black one with a gold trim I'll post a picture if I, if I can find a picture of it but it's not in here so I think he took it so anyway he didn't already been in the box but yeah I'm just getting off work I had a busy but successful day at work today um I think we about to um go out for a second we've had here lately y'all it's been a lot going on we've had quite a few family members that's been ill so we're supposed to be going to check on one that's in the hospital um now um we've been in the hospital for quite some time but we just got a good report today that um this person is doing much much better so we're gonna go visit them and we'll probably go just hang out for the rest of the evening but thank God it's Friday. So happy that it's the weekend. So I'm just getting in. I'm probably about to go freshen up a little bit um, before I leave out, change clothes, and um, yeah, get ready for Mr. Allen to come grab me before we leave. So I just wanted to pop in and chat it up with y'all. Um, I thought I was going to be able to get some footage of doing somebody's hair this week but that didn't happen look at my eyelashes y'all need to give me some more mascara because for one of the days that i don't want to wear no lashes baby my um my lashes seem like they gone and i haven't been putting on my ind my individual single lashes because i don't it take a little bit more time to do those because they're like less strands and not the clusters of the individual so i have been feeling like doing that so maybe i'll do some this weekend we'll see but yeah we about to head out um in a few so i'm gonna go so i can get myself ready so i'll be ready when mr allen gets here and i'll talk to y'all later okay maybe i'll pick y'all back up tomorrow and see what i got going on tomorrow and we'll go from there okay all right y'all See y'all later. Good morning, peeps. It is early. It's 7 o'clock in the morning. And Mr. Man is headed to the groomer. Mr. Man. She ain't gonna get a haircut. I'm going to get a haircut in the bath. I'm tired of him looking scruffy, so has to be done but my goodness it's too early anyway this is this before and um hopefully he looks like a good dog for the after <laughs> you ready all right let's go you don't supposed to be riding up here He loves sitting on the edge like that. Okay, he's sitting on the edge. He loves it. <laughs> Here's Max after. They got him looking like Easter Sunday, Easter speech. With his tool bow on. What you think, Max? You like it? Do you like it?
<laughs> What's up, y'all? I'm at my aunt and uncle's house, as you can see, and they're trying to teach me how to play Big Whiz. I don't know if I'm going to catch you tonight. I don't know, honey. Coming here to take me a snack break. See what I want. They got some chips in here. They got some plain chips. I might eat these. But anyway, I just came over here to hang out with them. Check in. I haven't been over here in a couple of weeks. So, that's all we doing. Having a little family time. I'm about to fix me something to drink. And uh, that's going to be that. But yeah, I was just popping in and let y'all know what was going on. <laughs> what was going on? So let me fix me some of the drink and head back out here to see if I can learn how to play this game. Mm -hmm. That what, what you uh, said and they could do, that your, whatever you call your trunk, it's in that kit. Okay. Help you. Yeah, I just have to learn the terminology. In the, in the bidding process. Right, right, right. Yeah, I've been doing a race since I was in seventh grade. Six. You you went to call with. We were in the sixth grade when we were uh, in the grade one because I was at Owens School. But I knew him at outside of school in the community. Okay. Oh, it wasn't school. And he stuck around with you all this time? That means you must be really you must be a heck of a guy. No, no, we'll take a bullet for each other. Okay. If it's coming at me, I wouldn't try to take the bullet first. Okay. I'd see if it might, you know, go to him first. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. What kind of friend is that? That's what I did to him like. No, I would try to take it, dodge it, the bullet. Dodge it? But if I can't dodge it, then I'll take the bullet. Okay. You know what I mean? But first, I'd try to make sure it missed. It's on you, Catherine. <laughs> Mm. You know I ain't trying to jump in front of the If I can't do it, I'll take it. You don't have to say hi. I'll take it. So you just say the number that you have, okay. Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. 
I'm going to say a no. Three months. Okay. Okay, I'm going down. Okay. Okay. They have a ball pressure coach. Well, that coach might be a race. <laughs> 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 they have been tremendous. Hey, Jordan, you see that? That's pound on the table. Yeah, go right there. It's a pound. Oh, that's what she bought. Uh-huh. Hey. Hey. You little key lime pie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you gotta let it throw out a little bit. That's why I said lift it out. What? Ain't no pain. I know. I like key lime pie. Alan like food, food, food. That's what Alan like. This is three downtown. Three downtown. Low no cars. Cars. No cars. So they have to turn five hooks to stop it. So I know you get to pick your cars you want out there, stack? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh. Okay. Go away six cars and going after Right. Okay. And I'm trying to uh, get as less as I can of, you know, not moving. Okay. Hmm. Okay, now, are we uptown or downtown? Down. Oh, Lord, Lord, I got mercy. Now he want to say that.